In five weeks, 100,000 British forces will strike Sicily's southern shore. Unfortunately, the Nazis know of our intentions. So we're going to play a humiliating trick on Hitler. <laughs> we have to convince Germany that our target is Greece. The plan begins in Spain, where a corpse will wash up on shore bearing classified letters. A corpse carrying fake documents. Given the fascist network there, we could quite literally float the documents right into enemy hands. Prime Minister, that's too big a risk. The fate of the world is at stake. The plan is highly implausible. So when can it be ready? Well, what say we start with the easy part and find ourselves a corpse? The thing is, the Germans have scrutinized every detail of our fallen man. Where are his legs? He must be as real as you or I. He would carry a letter from his wife professing her deep love for him. Very good. And he would carry her photograph. My contribution to the mission for a seat at the table. Although, what if the autopsy reveals he didn't die of drowning? Or if the briefcase is returned to us without the Germans seeing its contents? Charles, why on earth do you keep poking holes in our plan? I'm preemptively poking. Success depends on guiding the papers into Hitler's hands. The nightmare marching this way is only too real. And the Spanish won't let the Germans anywhere near our briefcase. We are in the dark. If the enemy is waiting for us on those beaches, history herself will avert our eyes from the slaughter. I may vomit. I may vomit with you. In stories of war, there is that which is seen and that which is hidden. In God's name, Fleming, what are you writing? Spy story. In the hidden war, the truth is protected by a bodyguard of lies. Its soldiers unseen pray. Its heroes unsung. This is our war.